next up, let's also talk about some earnings now because we're in the middle of the season. Felatex India reported Q4 numbers with a revenue decline of 2% sequentially. The margin, however, has come in a little bit higher, so they've managed to expand that. It's at 6% for this quarter, and the company did see a higher profit after tax, but this was aided by uh, other income that came through in this quarter. So to discuss more on the numbers, we are joined by Madhusudan Bagaria, the chairman and MD of Felatex India. Mr. Bagaria, thank you for joining us. This is Pavitra. You know, first up, if you can just take us through what has led to this quarter-on-quarter -quarter slowing that we've seen. I know you've mentioned that China imports came in in huge bulk. Is that the reason that we saw this? Has there been some sort of a price war? Did you have to cut prices? Can you give us a little bit more color on that? Yeah, good morning. Yes, the main reason is that we had to cut prices to beat the Chinese imports. The Chinese imports are coming in a big way. And mm. after the Chinese New Year's, they have uh, risen quite a bit. And so also, how much did you have to cut prices by? Uh, we had to cut prices by almost 2%. But still yeah. we could do better than the third quarter because of uh, volumes and uh, demand being more robust in India. Uh, Mr. Bagaria, in our last conversation, you seem to suggest that uh, the dumping uh, from China. Chinese imports are actually coming down, especially since China reopened. But now you're saying that the intensity of dumping by Chinese uh, China uh, Chinese companies is actually still very, you know, severe. It's we not eased. We were expecting it will come down. As China opens, their internal demand will come up, but that's not mm. happened. So the dumping okay. is still continuing. So even in the first quarter, dumping is happening, although it's uh, slightly lower, but it's still happening. And we I are uh, requesting the government to put some safeguard duties to help us because right. they are also selling at a loss. It's not that they are making profit and selling. Hmm. Uh, will you look at another price cut? No, I don't think so. There is a more price cut needed. We should be able to work on similar margins in the first quarter. And more, maybe from second quarter it should improve because uh, some uh, government is take, uh, promising they will take some measures. So some, uh... Okay. Okay, that, that's an, that's interesting, uh, Mr. Bagaria. Given what you're saying, that if this is uh, you know actual dumping, then maybe some counter duty measures can be taken. Do you have any sense from the government? I mean, uh, from your uh, industry channels, uh, by when can you expect some sort of uh, uh, protective duty measures? And uh, specifically, on which product categories are you seeking these measures? So we are seeking these measures for POI and FDY, which is being imported in a big way. So I think the government has implemented BIS standards for these products. So that will come into effect as of now from 3rd of July. So maybe that will help us and the imports would go down once that becomes effective from 3rd of July. That could be one way of reducing it. And also safeguard duty also we are working with the government. So okay, so... So, 3rd of July, at least some steps, you're saying these BIS measures, at least they will come into play. And if you get the safeguard duty over and above that, then that will obviously make the situation even better. Uh, so, given that, this is a, given that this is a dynamically changing situation, Mr. Bagaria, give us a sense on volumes. Q4, of course, you saw a dip in volumes uh, year on year, quarter on quarter. Uh, first quarter, second quarter, at best, will volumes remain flat or should your uh, you know stakeholders be prepared for another subdued quarter in terms of volumes. X of this dumping issue, is there any visibility on demand here? The demand is good. Our volume in the uh, fourth quarter is similar to the third quarter. The dip is because of the raw material prices little bit going down. So our uh, pricing went down. But the volumes uh, is similar. And same we expect in this first quarter also. The volume will remain healthy. But since the now crude prices have come down, so raw material prices will come down. So top line can come down. Okay, so that is on the top line and the sales volumes. Uh, what do you think about margins going forward? Because like you said, you've affected a 2% price cut that you've seen. Earlier you told us that you could reach double-digit margins in FI24. Do you think that's still possible? I mean, considering you're at 6% right now? I think year as a whole, we could should be very close to double digit, if not double digit. But first quarter, I don't see too much of improvement. We should do something similar to the last quarter. Okay. So can you tell us a little bit more? Uh, will volumes be in Q1, Q1, FI24, April to June, be similar to what we've seen uh, in the Jan to March period? 
which means the volume growth is will be zero quarter on quarter. Is that the correct way to look at it? Yeah, the volume growth would be virtually not. No volume growth. And when do you think volumes will start picking up? If there is no action from the government, yeah, will the volume already, growth be negligible for the full year? See, we are already operating at 95% utilization. So the volume mm. growth can only come if we add more capacity. Got it. So that is why the volume growth is not there. And we are adding very small capacity, which would be operational maybe in July end. So that is not much, but that could be around 3 to 4 percent. And then uh, one more volume growth we are taking, that will come by the financial year end. So that will be around 5 to 6 percent. So from next year, we could have 8 percent volume growth. But this right. year, I don't see any significant improvement in the volume. Only the margins from second quarter should improve once uh, the Chinese problem is taken care of. And also from mm -hmm. second quarter, Normally, the demand for uh, fabrics and garment is good, so the demand for yarn is very good in the country. Okay. All right, Mr. Bagheri, I will leave it on that note for today. Thank you very much, and uh, we will touch base with you uh, and see how the situation cha changes, specifically with regards to, of course, the safeguard duty measures that you are seeking. That's Philatex. India stock is reacting to what has been a subdued quarter. Let's take